guys, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your um, second half of your October from the 16th to the 31st. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. Okay. Um, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know. Look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. All right. We, um, you may switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So, Cancer, what messages do we have here for Cancer and Love? Tell that pers uh, the person that Cancer is dealing with here in love. For the second half of their October, from the 16th to the 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Cancer, the Hermit, Virgo energy. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, all right. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. I, I just feel like somebody here is like on a spiritual journey here with you, Cancer. Yeah, I do feel like there's commitment, there's loyalty here. You know, I do feel like, you know, when it comes to this connection here, both of you guys could be going through some sort of spiritual awakening here at this time, Cancer. I do feel like this connection that you have with each other here is incredibly powerful okay let's see what else we have could be big changes that are coming here there's equal give and take there's balance here there's loyalty i do feel like there's spiritual knowledge and wisdom that you guys are sharing amongst each other here where i feel like with the three of pentacles here you guys are working together really well all right we have the hermit and the five of swords okay Tell me about the uh, Ten of Pentacles here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Ten of Pentacles and also the Queen of Cups here. Oh, shoot. So there's a sense of fighting for this here, really. You know, fighting for what you want, putting this connection first here. You know, putting your own needs, be be like your own needs before any, like before, like putting yourself last basically and putting other people first which is this relationship here make sure you i mean it's okay to do that but make sure you don't lose yourself when you do that we have the emperor here and the hierophant taurus energy we have the judgment card here and the nine of cups yeah i do feel like this is a very happy relationship i do feel like this is a very mature relationship i feel like there's happiness here and joy okay between you and your person here the three of pentacles here and also the three of wands here it seems like you guys are also planning for the future here and we also have the lover's card on the bottom of the deck so i do feel like between you and your person you know things are going really well what else do we have here for cancer the person that cancer is dealing with what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards cancer what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards cancer for October 2024? Second half of their October 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, cancer. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, wow, and the Eight of Wands here. Whoever this is, this person is deeply in love with you. This person is putting effort into the connection, they're investing into you, they're having a good time getting to know you here. They basically want to build a life with you. The Ace of Cups. 
King of Swords. In the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. Three of Cups. In the Three of Swords. Okay. Wow. Cancer, this reading is taking a huge plot twist here. A huge turn here. It seems like this person is already dealing with somebody else. It seems like what's happening is that this person is ending a relationship to be with you. Yeah, this person is ending a relationship to be with you. Here is the thing. Do you feel like the person that you're dealing with here could be an older individual here that could be going through some sort of midlife crisis here, okay? But I do feel like the feelings that this person does have for you here is true and is real here, okay? So, wow. I didn't see that coming. I thought things were going really well. But it seems like there's other people in the picture here. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for work on for October 2024, second half of October, from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, moon, rising, Venusides for Cancer. All right, with the Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. The Moon. Cancer, Pisces, Energy. The World. I'm so sorry, you guys. My allergies are killing me. In the Tower. Aries, Scorpio, Energy here. Wow. I feel like you didn't even see this coming here. Cancer. That your person could have been dealing with somebody else here. Yeah. I feel like you didn't see it. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands here. So what we have here, it seems like you guys are dropping this here. You guys are finding out a why. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this is definitely someone here who's not looking for anything, anything serious, okay? I feel like the right thing that this person could have done is end the relationship with their person, take some time off to recover, to heal, and then they could come to you here, okay? I mean, you definitely don't want to start a relationship built on lies and deception. That is really starting a tone, not a really great tone, of how the relationship is going to look like moving forward in the future. All right, we have the Six of Swords. The Magician, Gemini Virgo. The Moon. And the Death card, Scorpio Energy. The World and the Devil. Yeah, you feel like you should have, you, you feel like you got tricked. The Tower, you, yeah, you feel like you got played here. I do feel like whoever this is, this is an individual here that will, you know, offer an apology. You know, I do feel like this person is going to try and explain themselves here. But yeah, it seems like what is happening is that there is someone else in the picture here. And that this person is planning to leave the person to be with you because maybe this person could be dealing with a very toxic relationship here and that they were looking for a way out and you were their ticket to get out of their current situation. So, Cancer. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.